Hey guys, it is Kyrie, and welcome to part two of the Mary Pets Halloween event series. If you haven't seen the first video, you can watch that right here. And if you already saw that video, then sit tight and we will get right into this one. So just like in the real world, not that any of us would know what that is, we have trick-or-treating. And on Mary Pets, we have our lovely dolls that we dress up and there are plenty of Halloween costumes that one can choose from to get into the spirit of the season. The objective of the player profile trick-or-treat is to visit player profiles and trick-or-treat to win prizes or MP. Check out this list of participating costumes on the news page so that you can participate. You can trick-or-treat as many people as you want, but you can only trick-or-treat a person's profile once a day. Once the day is over and the clock resets to the next day, you can officially visit the profile again to trick or treat them. Tons of players are constantly logging in and out, so you will always have someone to click on. And if you can make it through the entire list in one shot, I applaud you because that is exhausting. When a player is trick or treated, they are put on a 30 second cooldown until a player can trick or treat them again. So, if a person still has a cooldown timer, you can just refresh on their profile until it counts down and that button reappears for you. The button is conveniently located right at the top of a player's profile. Clicking on this list can be a little overwhelming, especially if you're not sure which ones you clicked and which ones you didn't click. So, I have two tricks for you that can make this a little bit easier for you. One is for Google Chrome and the other is for Firefox. If you're using a different browser, I apologize. You're kind of on your own with that one, but I'm sure your browser has some sort of similar option for you. What we want to do is we want to go into your web browser and change the settings for visited links so that when you click on something, it changes it to a different color. That way, when you go to the online list, you know which profiles you've gone to and which ones you haven't. So the first trick that I'm going to show you is for Google Chrome. You are going to want to go to your Google Chrome settings, which is right here. You're gonna open up the themes store here. On this left-hand sidebar, you're gonna click on extensions and you're gonna type in stylish. I already have it installed, but you'll just click on it, install it, and then it's gonna show up here with the rest of your extensions. You're gonna click on that. There's gonna be three little dots. You'll click on that, and you're gonna to wanna to create a new style. Go ahead and name your style. You can name it whatever you want. So you're gonna open up this code field here, and you're gonna type A visited comma. Then on the next line, you're gonna go in a couple spaces here and type period FL visited. And then you're gonna do an open bracket. Then on the next line, you're gonna type in color colon. And then you're gonna wanna do a hexadecimal code. HTMLcolorcodes.com is a really cool resource for you to Take this slider and pick whatever color you want. And then when you've selected a color you like, you're gonna wanna copy the hexadecimal code and then you can just paste it right into here. So I have mine set to this one. Then after you've typed that in, you're gonna hit space, exclamation point, important, semicolon, and then an ending bracket. Here, where it says applies to, you're gonna wanna change it from URLs on the domain to just URL. And then in here, you're gonna change it from that to http colon slash slash www.maripets.com slash online.php. And this is the direct URL for the online list. Then you're also going to want to hit the add button here off to the right. And you're going to do the same thing, but this time, instead of it being HTTP, you want to do HTTPS. After that's complete, you can go ahead and hit save, and then you're all done. The second option is for Firefox. I personally don't use Firefox anymore because it's really slow on my computer and Chrome's way faster. But if you are on Firefox, 
you're going to want to go to tools options down here where it says language and appearance fonts and colors you're going to want to click on colors and here it's going to show you the different colors for regular text the background unvisited links and visited links so i'm going to set this to black and then i'll set this to purple and then right here where it says override override the colors specified by page with your selections above you're going to want to hit always because whatever settings Maripets has or whatever site you're on it's gonna override whatever you have set to your browser so you're gonna want to make sure you put the always in that way your settings override theirs so then once you're done you're gonna hit OK and then we can go to Google type in cat pictures and we're gonna click on this link so if we go back into the options and colors and we set it to green. Now you can see that it's green. So all you have to do is just pick whatever color you want and then once you've clicked on something it'll change that forever. And so with our settings in from the stylish version you can go ahead and go to the online list and see all these red names. That's what it looks like when you've clicked on people. So what I do once you're ready to start clicking the online profile list you can go in order, you can go from top to bottom, bottom to top, you can just click all over the place. However you do it is totally your preference, but clicking one profile at a time is very uh, tedious and annoying, so I personally like to click on multiple ones at a time. I'm not sure what you would do if you were on Mac, but for Windows, you're going to hit Control left click, and all these black names that are kind of muddled into my red ones. I'm just going to click on them real quick. And now I have a bunch of tabs open. And we have to wait for this cooldown. So we'll go to these next ones. And so I just go through each one like so. And that's, that's all there is to it. So all you do is just open up a bunch of tabs, however many your computer can handle, because it does make your processor go a little nuts if you do a lot of tabs. And then you just click through and you hit trick or treat. And if the person's got a cooldown, you just refresh on their profile. And then once their button reappears, you can go ahead and click on it and then move on. I just close all the tabs and then I return to the online list and then I just repeat that over and over again. But the list is very long. There's a lot of people online. There's two pages of names here. So it does take a little while. So when I get bored of this, I'll usually like go off and do other things on the website and then slowly come back to it now and then. Keep in mind that the color saves based on your browsing history. So if you want the list to refresh back to black for the next day, then you're gonna wanna clear your internet history. But remember, from my pumpkin hunt video, if you're using the trick that I suggested to see how many pumpkins you've clicked using your browsing history, make sure you record that and remember that number or write it down or something. That way, when you clear your browser history, that information is going to be gone. So definitely make sure you keep up with that. So personally, before I clear my internet history, I write down the number quick clear the history, and then I'll start clicking on the online list throughout the day. I hope that you found this video helpful, and if so, be sure to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel, and be sure to check out the next video of this series. My name is Kyrie Jenkins. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!